welcome back guys to the next video on SSA's uh, all app TBA tips and tricks so in this video I'm gonna answer to one of the most uh, highly asked interview question um, in SSA's category that is um, where the data will be stored when you select mobile app storage mode as you all know there are three types of storage modes one is roll app another one is mobile app and the third one is whole app so uh, whenever you say the storage mode that I have used in my project is a mobile app then immediately the guy will ask where the data will be stored and the most straightforward answer what uh, I, I got from uh, most of the people who has given interview to me is like it stores in analysis services or analysis services server where in which format how how you can see that where you can see that so in this video let's go let's dig a little deeper into the same topic where the data will be stored when the cube is processed so to demonstrate the same and uh, for sure if you give the answer what I'm gonna upload to what you're what I'm gonna explain today then it will give a good impression to the interviewer um, on you so better um, try to understand the concepts and if you have any queries you can ping me so to demonstrate the same I have created a cube with all the dimensions I need uh, I want it to take some time to process that is why I have taken um, all the dimensions available in the adventure works database as well as all the measure groups available in the adventure works database you can see I don't I'm not going to do anything with these queries or with these measure groups and the dimensions apart from showing how the data will be stored or how the data will be read from SQL server or any relational database to your uh, analysis server or uh, analysis services server when you select the storage mode as molab so here uh, I've opened what is this profiler to check whether it is progressing fine or not this profiler I love profiler because it will give you every millisecond activity on the server whether it is going fine or not whether there is any error occurred uh, in the processing and all even though sometimes the wizard the processing wizard may not throw error but you'll get the error in profiler so I like to keep the profiler open always so first thing where the data will be stored and in which format where you can see that so the data will be stored in the following normally in short the data will be stored in the data folder wherever you specify the data folder it will go and store in the data folder so in our case but for the default installations I mean you guys don't move the data folder and log folder whenever you are installing the analysis services I'm pretty sure about that so for you guys it will be in program files Microsoft SQL Server analysis MSAS 10 daughter instance name OLAP and here you can see the data folder so in this data folder um, the cube name the database name is ADB and you can see dot db files are database files so in my server how many database files are there means it's just one database file and the database name is ADB and all these remaining files are supporting files for the server okay now let me open this db file here you can see all the dimensions and the xml xml file for the dimensions you can see here for dim for dim account there is an xml file with all the information about that in the same way there will be a dimension folder where the data will be stored in dot ah store on as stores different files you can find so this is where the data will be stored whenever you say that uh, if you select molab storage mode the data will be read from relational database and stored in the analysis services and um, I know if I dig if I ask more question on that then I, I'll, I'm not gonna get response because no one like to see or no one um, don't, I mean no one tries to see where the data will be stored actually in analysis services so this DB folder is very 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 important and this is where all the data will be stored and all the data source related information will be stored in this folder there is nothing to read and this is cube related and what you will have in the cube you will have measure groups and you can see all the measure groups and each measure group will have uh, its own files like for example packed internet sales you can see 
uh, it is 17 is a unique number or I can say incremental number what analysis services will give whenever it crosses every time okay and this is 10 and if you see this is 17 dot fact dot data which is 4070 KB in size close to 4 MB so this is the file where you have the data and all the remaining files are some supporting for that I mean if you provide relationship to the dimensions to this measure group then it will create the dot map file and uh, um, yeah dot map files which will have the mapping and all the stuff with the dimensions now this is your storage this is your analysis service storage right now let me show you one more thing um, when processing the cube I'm gonna do process full now how it is gonna Affect, affect this okay whether it is going to create a new file or what will happen when you process full okay before going to that let me go let me show you one more folder in uh, OLAP uh, directory sorry OLAP folder that is temp this temp folder is the one which analysis services uses whenever the data or whenever the cube or, or whenever the dimensions are processing this thing, uh, this folder will be used to store the temporary files and once it is read, it will be applied to the analysis server at the time of committing. So committing is the phase where all the files will be swapped. Swapped in the sense, first it will read the data, it will store here and it will commit it. While committing, it will swap the data. Let me show you a simple example. I'm going to process the whole cube, uh, whole database here. I triggered it. Let me show my profiler whether it started or not. Yes, it started. Now you can see this folder where it will be pulling the temp files and uh, taking the data here and then applying to the original folder. So this is why, this is where the data will be temporarily stored, not the permanent store this is. Okay. And this is also one important factor you need to remember. You need to know now let me go to our data folder as I said this is the data folder and uh, I select a process full right let me show let me see the file I mean the total folder size it is uh, 60.4 and uh, let me show that okay and if I go to this cube again I'm going to fact internet sales and you can see it was turned uh, earlier now it has become 11 and you can see the 17th was the last one, 18th and 19th are the newly created one. Let me uh, show you what will be the impact at the end. Now you can see the 17th file is here with 4070 KB in size and you can see the 19th is created and it is ready to get fresh data and it will be, it, it will read to the temporary location and once the total processing is completed then it will apply the changes in the commit time so let it go uh, meanwhile let me show you one thing quickly so whenever you click on cube process okay or for the pro it will read the data into a temporary location till then this is your cube let's say this is your cube the cube will be oops let me select the pen I think it's gone Oops, yeah, here it is. I'm unable to write, I'm sorry guys. Okay, let's say this is your cube. You can query the cube until, until all the data is read and ready to write. So whenever you, the data read is complete and the write is started, that means the commit phase, it, it will commit, it will write, it, it will apply a write clock on the whole server that means you can't query or you can't do anything when the write lock is applied. And this write lock is applied when the commit phase is on. Commit phase means the data that is read here will be applied, swapping of files. All the existing files will be taken out and the new files will be copied. So that is called commit phase. So this commit phase will have a lot of impact on the number of partitions. If you create more partitions, more and more and more partitions, it is going to impact the commit phase. It, it is going to take more time for committing. And hence, my suggestion is to design the partition files uh, carefully. Don't create thousands of partitions as there is no limitation in creating partitions of the measure groups. 
don't create thousands of partitions and see here you can see the changes the it is coming to an end see the objects are getting committed right now let me show where the file has gone the 17 file is erased and it is wrapped with the 19 file so the fresh file is created that means fresh data any new records are there in the database then that should have been pulled into the new fact data file and if you have aggregations defined in this table in this particular measure group or for this part partition then a new an extra file will be here which will store the aggregated aggregations data so I hope you understood where the data will be stored now. If anyone asks you a question like what is MOLAP and where the data will be stored, MOLAP is I think but the, when the storage is on analysis service side and the service and, and, and the analysis and the and the files will be stored or and the data will be stored in the form of files and it is in the data folder of the server. Okay. So hope you understood and if you answer that and you can see the remaining files are removed and it has taken the 19th or uh, the latest one. It will have all the information about this measure group. Never, uh, don't worry about that. And you can see everything is uh, committed. Once it is committed, then only it will say the batch command is completed. And here you can see the process will be completed and it has taken 3 hours and 3 minutes 11 seconds. So. Uh, hope you understood this and uh, in next in my next video I'm gonna show you how to configure the data folders and the log folders or and, uh, and multiple other concepts which really helps you these are um, gonna help you in your if, if you get a job like uh, uh, on the DBA side because you in, you need to deal with uh, uh, data folders log folders a lot when you are on DBA side then on developers side, development side so uh, thank you very much for watching this video guys and uh, please subscribe to my channel and I will be uploading more and more videos on all three tools of uh, Microsoft Business Intelligence. Thanks once again. Catch you very soon. Bye-bye.